one. Hey, this is Splashy12 with my friend Mad, Mad Acorn here. Um, we're playing a game called Planet Side 2, and he's going to inform you on all the basic introduction stuff. So, here you go. Well, guys, welcome to Planet Side 2. Now, I'll inform you about the game's history and backstory. So, over to this warp gate. Now, you see, basically, the planet is called Araxis. Now, the planet Araxis has been engaged in conflict since the Terran Republic established a colony in the 27th century, more specifically 2,643. But anyway, there are three continents. You have Indar. The arid continent of Indar is home to a sort of like Grand Canyon biome and it's it's got grassy savannas it, it's very well done and it provides unique challenges mm -hmm. and anyway there is a bunful cover and it has that sort of alien world feeling with sort of alien hives as the terrain so it's successful then you have Emmerich it's a lush continent it's got an abundant groves of rocky outcropping and ample cover between its mountain passes it's brilliantly well done it's more primarily used for cover against the aerospace units now you see guys you have three divisions. You have mechanized, which is your ground vehicles, such as, let's just say this, amphibious personal carriers, um, tanks. Um, you have aerospace, which is your aeronautics division. They use um, fighter jets, transport ships. You have your infantry. They hold a diverse group of classes, so it's actually quite well done, actually. So anyway, then you have Esamir. Now, Esamir is what you could relate to to the Arctic Circle or Antarctica. It is very, very it's cold. Very cold. That too. And anyway, it's a frigid tundra with craggy mountains. Provides little cover. Aerospace literally can decimate you in Esmir. So, it's very essential that you don't go there as an infantry unit or a mechanised unit. And when you do go there, you need a lot of experience. Esamir is more used for the veteran players of a first-person shooter and those with plenty of money to spend on the game. But anyway, you have two clients, Sony Online and Steam. Now, I'll tell you about Sony Online. Sony Online's client is directly downloaded from SOE.com. You create an account... You download the game directly from the client and you just open up the executable file. It starts the client. And it depends um, on your internet speed if it takes 5 or 10 hours. It varies. But anyway, you have Steam and it's got a compactor. It compacts the files. It makes it smaller in the amount of megabytes and gigabytes. And so it's, it's actually... And also, you cannot play with people on Steam if you're with Sony Online. Um, yes. I've learnt that. Well, anyway, Sony Online and Steam directly have different updates, game fixes. Essentially, they have different servers too. But anyway, I will tell you about the three factions. You have New Conglomerate. They virtually are a collective of freedom fighters. 
they believe strongly that a free man is better than a enslaved, well, slave. And anyway, they believe that any control is essentially oppression. So their cause is essentially just. I actually recommend them, but personally, this is my faction, Venu Sovereignty. They are a collective of transhuman intellectuals and technologically masterful humans that believe that alien technology should be integrated into human technology and exploited. They have the best technology in the game, so they are well worth looking at as me and Vanu Sovereignty. Oh, yeah, yeah, fantastic. As me and Sploshy both play Vanu Sovereignty. You see, they are very, very pure karma. In other words, though, pure good. Because they essentially have no real enemies, but they don't despise any other faction. The players are nice, except for some odd some common dance. Yeah. Yes, common dance, you can call them, if you are fond of the Nazi heritage. And anyway, uh, public executions... Discipline acts, um, well, very much like the Third Reich, actually, or the Soviet Union, the United Soviet Socialist Republic. But anyway, um, then you have the Terran Republic. They are essentially a government collective who are authoritarian and essentially fascists. They are pure evil. The players, pure evil, they absolutely insult, the f um, intimidate virtually every other faction. They're painful to play with or against, so um, I recommend not choosing Terran Republic. Although their motive and creed is to unite the warring factions, since they're authoritarian, they are essentially dic dictators. They aren't pure karma. Pure, they're, they're essentially pure evil. But anyway, the game is very much like a first-person shooter, and we'll explain in further videos. But essentially, if you want information on this game, okay, Sploshy12 will have information on this YouTube video that I wrote. Down in the description or a link to my media fire that you can download it from. It is quite large but it explains everything that you need to know. Note it's only on Sony Online so and you've re continue. Uh, and Sony Online is actually a lot cheaper than Steam even though the game doesn't cost anything um the extras are a lot cheaper than steam and yes lag. you see sony online has a feature called station currency or station cash well it's a derogatory term but um it is very effective essentially though you get these 15 dollar prepaid cards in every western country maybe even the asia and anyway, you purchase these cards, you redeem them via your account, you receive station cash, 15,000. Well, 1,500 actually, so... Um, and these station but anyway. cash you can use to upgrade your weapons, tanks, whatever. Station cash is primarily used to upgrade... Firearm attachments, appearance, decals, And where skins. my um, cursor is at the moment, it is under some station cache. That is what station cache looks like. Um, I'm not 100% sure on what the card looks like that you get, but that is what station cache looks like in-game. 
and everything is quite expensive. Yes, um, but problem is though, whenever Sony Online has a specific discount, it only affects the United States of America and Canada. Wait, I'll be back. But anyway, essentially Station Cash is quite useful. As you can see, um, if you saw some people with different appearance skins and firearms during the video, you will notice that they have camouflage, different armor. It is very effective. But anyway, if you want details, you can join our squad and... And, um, our, um, Skype details will be down in the description. You'll only get on our squad if you subscribe, like, or leave a comment. Um, we expect that you will keep profanity and intimidation out of this video. Um, it's just common manners, common decency. But anyway, if you want details, I wrote these details. Quite vast in vocabulary, but still. Um, just use, use the description and just look at the description, see the details, and you'll essentially learn about the squad if you wish to join us well we're daily players so we're looking for some daily players to fill the classes specified so this is Matt Acorn this is Splashy12 and you think we should sign off on this video sign off see you guys